the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Super Bowl champion winning Tampa Bay Buccaneers, uh, head coach newly tattooed. He's got a Super Bowl champs tat. Respect, respect. Um, they're the first team in like a bajillion years to bring back every single starter from their team. Does this make them the favorite to repeat Mike Spillane? <clears throat> I mean, they're going to be up there. I don't know if, as far as they're, odds makers goes, they're if they are second. the favorite. I'm gonna I would say the second. Chiefs are probably still the number one favorite. I think it is, yeah. Uh, and I think if, you know, Patrick Mahomes have people that ha- has players that can catch and uh, stuff like that, there's a high likelihood that, you Chiefs, know, they could Packers, win the Super Bowl. Bucks. Packers really Packers it very interesting yeah I disagree with that 11 to Um, 12 9 to 1 and 10 to 1 I got to double check that but that's very shocking to me did they do things we don't know about I don't think so sucks and dick I guess I don't know wowzers Spillane went right to the cork (laughs) how many of them are sucking the dick though they didn't have to do the oral a lot of people on the the team it doesn't matter if it's good bro it doesn't matter a lot of people on the team but, Do you think this yeah. is justified, Mike? Do you think it's justified that that they would be, I mean, in in our consensus in this little group that we have, I think that we're all of all like minded that Kansas City is probably the number one, yeah. and and the Bucks would be two. Do yeah. you think that this is deserved? Do you think that, or it, were they a flash in the pan? Are they no. not going to be as hungry? What that, What do you that, that part? Yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, 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 I think that the, there's possibilities of that. My worry is still that Tom versus time this year maybe is the year that Tom Brady starts to decelerate. Um, will it happen? I thought it was going to happen four years ago, so like, I don't fucking know. Um, the man is, he's, uh, he's a superhuman, but the fatigue factor is on the mentalities. He was able to motivate because they had never tasted the sweet, sweet sauce. Now that they've gotten the taste, you would think like, oh my God, oh, they know it's, so they could do it again. No, that it's actually harder to lock back in for the second one because you reached it already. You reached it, you won. See Kansas City Chiefs. Correct. Well, no, no, right. In the Super Bowl, they had a great regular season, but a lot of teams this happens to and a lot of winners it happens to. And some of them get correct and come back. That Brady's that, right? But he's a fucking goat. It's very difficult to re-energize when you're like, oh, I just succeeded the thing I wanted to do for my whole life uh, many guys in my field never get to do it y'all I'm, I'm fucking good i think like a lot of them that actually happens and i don't I mean, fault them for that i was gonna say 2007 giants is a prime example we got into the playoffs at nine yeah. and seven as a wild card made it all the way to the super bowl and won and then the next year we went 12 and four won the division and lost in the first round yeah you know it's, so it's, it's a real it's, thing it's a real yeah. thing that the hunger because regular season success also d- doth not mean Super Bowl success necessarily. Just to your point there, you can wild card in and rip, or you can go Steelers were the team, and then they Giants were. made that famous. Right. It's <laughs> I think ta- you Pat, you nailed it. It's the buy-in. Tom's gonna have a harder time buying in people that just reach their life goal because he's motivated, he's inhuman with his motivation level and what he's focused on. He's also a brand, hundreds of millions of dollars in play. These other guys are going to start seeing that and probably put more time into their branding than they're going to be into winning, not remembering that Tom got there by winning first. Playoff Lenny. Let's go. <laughs> it's, it's already Lenny. They deserve the, the odds. They are. So the update on the March 24th yeah. on DraftKings is Chiefs, Bucks, then Packers. Still shocked to see Packers so high, Packers but so high. Bucks and then Ravens, but whatever. They, oh, that's, there's that. so much wrongness that usually comes out of these. The, 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 Th- two through five shakes up. What are the uh, what are the odds on the Giants? Is, is it worth putting oh, five or That is you know? not going to please you. <laughs> oh, I know they're bad. It's plus seven thousand. Yep. Yeah, so you that. would get some serious dollars back if you put a thousand dollars on it. I'm not putting a rich guy. dollars on it. I'm not that dumb. You are a rich guy. That is a true statement. If you put a thousand dollars on that. What if Daniel Jones ascends? That's a that that might be worth a hundred dollar bet, bro. If you <laughs> if you have a friend that has the DraftKings sports book and it's because it's not legal here yet, it is but if you got a friend like Paul, I got friends where it's hundred percent legal where they are. Um, send someone a Hondi on on the Giants if DraftKings is willing to pay that much money. 
That's like 70 times your money. Yeah, that's, yeah. A lot of Craig, money. let me pose you this question. I, wait a minute. I'm going to bet, bet on the Miami Dolphins too. Sorry. <laughs> Tom Brady. Yeah. Meets Patrick Mahomes. It was in awesome. Our, in our next Super Bowl. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. Who comes out victorious? Patty, Patty Mahomes does. He does not let Tom kiss him on the mouth prior to the game. He won't, no, that, he won't that, allow that, and that might happen. never let him do that. That might happen. Tom might be at the level now where he doesn't even have to get to your mouth. If you just do a, a, a oh, normal a hug, long distance. he's sucking spirits from you. What if he leveled up? Did you consider that? <laughs> that he leveled up his, his soul sucking where he can get it from the ear now. So he's doing just bro hugs and sucking powers, sucking life force out. Pat Mahomes wins this one because Pat Mahomes has to to be who Pat Mahomes wants to be. He wants to be the face of the place. Tom's that right now. Pat's the future, but Tom's the GOAT. So if you want to ever be in that conversation, you must defeat that man. So I think he's going to somehow throw and catch because those guys just dropped it. Just straight up. A lot of times. Dropped it. Frequently. So he might have to like do the old throw it, bounce it off someone's back, grab it. And Randall Cunningham. Jackson. But I don't think he loses the game. I don't think he loses the game. And if he gets the buy-in from his bros, it should be a blowy. It should be like a vengeance. Really? Blowout. You think you, you if, think I do, because if we get the version two, it would also be very good for ratings. Oh, very good for absolutely. ratings. It would be, please put a better halftime show. Bring Bruno back. Br- well, yeah. Bring Bruno back would be a, a very valid hashtag. I don't think it was terrible. It didn't, yeah. it didn't exceed expectations. I told my wife. That what it I wanted. looked like this guy is a man who jerks off to photos of himself. <laughs> it's extreme. But, it's extreme. but like, look at him and tell me that he doesn't. I don't think you like him. He's fine. He's, he has made just him. creatively I, interesting. Uh, didn't do the level of show we wanted. That, I think that's fair. And he put like $7 million dollars of his own money into it. Which is, which is a weird thing that happened also, by the way. I would not do that. I would not do that. I think, again, the, the theme of the show, bad business decision. <laughs> Very bad business decision. Why did you do that? And then You're not also- do as good as you could have. Yep. I'm not saying I didn't like the performance because I, I do like his music. Man. I just didn't think he sounded even as good as, as other things he did. But it was him. Like, all the equipment was dope. All the fucking things. He had like one mic the whole time. I don't even know how they did that, right? We all know wireless That's microphone. So weird. Yeah. I don't even know how they did that. He like didn't switch mics, but he went through so much space. But dude, no. It was all right. I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't thrilled with it, but I, I didn't hate it. So I'll pose the same question to you, Mike. Patrick Mahomes meets Tom Brady. They are in the Super Bowl final. They're staring at each other. Who comes out of that game victorious and why? If, if Patty Mahomes avoids the life sucking kiss, absolutely, Patrick Mahomes. It's got Patrick, to- uh, uh, <clears throat> on a broken foot, he still tried to will his team to touchdowns and could have the, if they would have could have if they caught if the they would have just went like this. Yeah, that game would so, have been much closer for that reason, and the fact that it also will not be played in Tampa next year, um, which uh, basically was a home game for the Bucks. Um, I, I don't think that there's uh, not a doubt in my mind that Patrick Mahomes gets over that Tom Brady hump next year. If that's the case. Well, you heard it here first. Kansas City Chiefs going to take so. that Lombardi back to KC.